am i am i audible to you yes sir audible sir okay thank you uh, very good afternoon to uh, one and all uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, the another session of our first unit uh, in lika so as we all are know as per our syllabus copy uh, the following syllabus is there in our related to first unit so as per our convenient purpose i try to divide it whatever the syllabus is there the overall syllabus should be divided into the following uh, concepts so up to last session i try to covered so up to here up to here i try to cover introduction to uh, first unit and uh, operation of amplifier and the next one is internal circuit of operational amplifier so uh, in this session today i would like to explain uh, these two topics so one is a differential amplifier another one is properties of other differential uh, amplifier configurations so before going to start uh, uh, today topics uh, now i try to uh, revise a few points it related to previous uh, sessions okay now we all are know okay the operational amplifier is most commonly uh, referred as op amp it was introduced in 1940s okay but the first op amp was designed in 1940s by using vacuum tube but due to um, some drawbacks that means uh, it required high power consumption and moreover uh, the it is very bulky okay it is more expensive due to some drawbacks so in 1964 to 1968 robert j widler he wanna introduce a new uh, ic it related to operational amplifier here it related to operational amplifier in this time it is acts as a ic integrated circuits okay so integrated circuit means i already told you number of times integrated circuit means so whatever the components are there active components or passive components all the components are fabricated on a single chip concept that is called as integrated circuits okay whatever the circuit is there it is a complicated circuit or a simple circuit whatever circuit is there the circuit having different components are there active components and passive components all the active and passive components those are fabricated into a single chip concept that is called as ic okay so in modern ic that means once upon a time in first ic that is operational amplifier it was introduced in 1948 with the help of vacuum tube so in new ic that is a new popular ic it was introduced in 1964 at that time so whatever the bjts are there whatever the fets are there that means it related to transistors okay those are called as active elements active components which are fabricated along with some supporting components supporting component means passive components rlc okay here the bjt fets those are acts as active components okay which are fabricated on a with some supporting components those are uh, passive components this is the, those are rlc those are uh, fabricated on a single seal concept that is a new version of ic okay so now whatever the circuit diagram is there in that circuit diagram we try to uh, replace by single uh, chip of silicon that is called as ic okay and more over here operation amplifier sir up to till now you told me the ic sir what is the operation amplifier simple and so the circuit here operation amplifier it is uh, operating different scenarios different scenarios so those different scenarios are the point is very simple so here we try to understand operation amplifier okay here operation amplifier which is also acts as a uh, that is called as integrated circuit it is also be acts as a integrated circuit okay so more over here in, at any instant of time here we try to understand so that means i try to convey a simple manner here okay so uh, that means we all are know uh, the components those are called as active components and passive components okay so active components means uh, which are capable to deliver the amount of energy here in our electronic uh, related topic here active components means uh, transistors okay sources those are related to active components which are capable to deliver the amount of energy okay passive components means we all are know which are capable to receive the amount of energy those are called as passive components okay basically active and passive those are fabricated on a single chip concept that is called as old version of ic but in new version of ic here whatever the components are there that those are active components means transistors fets or bjts so bipolar junction transistor or field effect transistors those are related to active components these active components are fabricated along with some supporting components supporting component means rlc so those are fabricated on a single chip concept that is called as new version of ic 
okay here the point is the ic integrated circuit here the operational amplifier which is acts as a integrated circuit okay the operational amplifier is acts as a uh, multi vibrator the operational amplifier is acts as a uh, schematic circuit okay so here whatever the different names are there different applications are there so in this unit especially we try to discuss about ic integrated circuit the operational amplifier which is acts as a one of the type that is an integrated circuit okay that's why we called as ic sir okay what is the reason why i try to give clarification to you means here yeah, the point is very simple so the topics it related to operational amplifiers going on but here we try to discuss about ics so what is the reason behind that one is the operational amplifier those are acts as a integrated circuits integrated circuits okay so here the ic integrated circuit acts as an operational amplifier okay so that's why we try to discuss about here for example in this unit especially it is going into related to ics so the operational amplifier is acts as a ic so in upcoming next unit it is acts as a uh, schematic circuit so at the time operational amplifier is acts as a schematic circuit so that means so based upon the topics based upon the application here we try to call as an operational amplifier as a ic operational amplifier is a another name so the point is very simple okay so now so operational amplifier means i already told you in previous session so here this is called as a, the structure or symbol of operational amplifier it is like a triangle okay and which the point is towards uh, direction towards signal flow here it is a triangle the signal flow direction here okay and moreover it is a dual supply it is required dual supply it is a dual supply operational amplifier in this operational amplifier it is having how many number of supplies two supplies that's why it is called as dual supply okay so one supply it related to negative another supply it is related to positive okay and we are getting only one output so the operational amplifier it is having two inputs and one output one output and moreover in these two inputs one is a negative input another one is a positive input so negative input means here we try to understand whatever the input we are providing here whatever the input we are providing so here whatever the input we are providing here we are providing the input supply is negative so we are getting 180 degrees of phase shift of output voltage 180 degrees of phase shift so if it is in positive we are getting negative if we are providing negative we are getting positive 180 degrees phase shift so it is called as inverting input terminal inverting input terminal so the operational amplifier it required it consisting of two input terminals so that's why it is called as dual supply and it consisting of only one output terminal okay in these two input terminals one input terminal is related to negative another input terminal is related to positive now whatever the input we are providing it related to it related to that is called as inverting input inverting means when the input is negative so whatever the input we are providing here it is a positive it is a negative so we are getting 180 degrees phase shift it is positive now we are getting negative here if it negative we are getting positive here okay now coming to the next one non inverting input terminal so here we are providing uh, ac here we are consisting of ac here whatever the input we are providing positive so we are getting a positive also here we are getting positive so it is called as in non inverting output non inverting output inverting output means we are providing whatever the input we are getting 180 degrees phase shift of output that is called as non inverting output okay non inverting output means we are providing input in non inverting input we are getting output is in same phase with input that is called as non inverting output moreover the point is very simple in this operational amplifier it the symbol is uh, consisting of a triangle shape okay and it consisting of a dual input supply and it consisting of only one output supply okay now here it is called as a pin diagram so i already explained in previous session it is a pin diagram so it is having how many number of pins are there eight pins it is having eight pins are there so in these eight pins in these eight pins okay so here out of eight pins so one pin is not connected one pin is not connected sir what is the reason sir one pin is not connected that means sir, for withstand purpose one pin is not connected for withstand purpose for example in these in these eight pins eight pins are engaged with any other uh, terminal okay at that time if any uh, if any interruption is there in at any pin at that time so the entire operation is coming into uh, interrupted so because of the reason here we try to maintain uh, for backup purpose here we try to use one pin that is eighth pin so it is not connected it is called as short circuit a uh, short name nc not connected not 
connected so not connected means here we are not connecting any terminal to 8 pin because it is suitable for it is referred for or preferred for um backup purpose or with stand purpose okay and more over here uh, one more point is this name is called as 741 updated version of ic okay okay 741 seven means here out of eight pins seven pins are functional pins all the seven pins are working out of eight pins seven pins are working okay seven pins are working okay so that's why it is called as seven and the four means it is having four four uh, input pins four input pins so the four input pins are here two and three these two are the input pins and seven and four here this is also the input pin it is called as a negative here it is called as positive okay there are four pins 2 3 and 4 7 that is a fourth uh, four is called as a, a four input pins one is called as output pin that is from sixth pin so the name itself 741 7 4 so seven is called as out of eight pins seven pins are a uh, number of functional pins okay what about eighth pin sir so this is suitable for uh, it is uh, referred for with stand purpose a backup purpose it is not connected so out of eight pins seven pins are functional pins and moreover four pins are called as input terminals input pins one pin is one pin is called as output pin so that's why it is called as 741 so the model of this uh, particular ic is called as 741 741 okay and in these eight pins so i already told you in previous session also in these eight pins so here there are two offset nulls are there offset voltages offset nulls okay for example i here i try to provide input here we try to collect the output so now we are providing input is removed from the uh, ic the output is equal to zero in ideal scenario so here i try to mention there are two inputs are there i wanna mention two inputs okay i wanna give two inputs to here okay now we are getting output okay so now uh, whether we are removing the input here so what about the output we are expecting zero but in practical scenario the, when we, if we are removing the input the output is not equal to zero the output is not equal to zero in practical scenario so in ideal scenario if we are providing input we are getting the output if we remove the input the output becomes to zero but in practical scenario if we remove the input input pins but the output is not equal to zero the output is not equal to zero so at that time the output should bring to zero the output should, should bring to zero with the help of offset pins 1 and 5 with the help of offset uh, pins here 1 and 5 here we try to uh, apply some additional voltages in between offset nulls 1 and 5 to bring the output is coming into zero that is in balance okay so that is the purpose of offset pins i hope you understand okay so nc not connected okay offset means two pins are there 1 and 5 so the 1 and 5 pins this is this is suitable for to bring the output is in balance it means if the input is in zero so the pin 2 and 3 we are providing the input is uh, removed so output is actually coming into zero in ideal scenario but in practical scenario if they remove the input but the output is not equal to zero at that time we try to bring the output is equal to zero so by applying some additional voltages in between 1 and 5 that voltage is called as offset voltage offset null voltage offset voltage intention is here we are applying offset voltage to bring the output value is coming into balance that means zero okay there is intention of pin diagram amma up to till now anybody having any doubts amma anybody having any doubts up to till now amma please respond so maybe i think so only two members are there so please respond right so here i already told you sir what is meant by inverting mode what is meant by non inverting mode so i already shown you here negative positive negative is called as inverting mode positive is called as non inverting mode here so here i try to consider the inverting terminal input negative side uh, positive is coming into ground so at that time whatever the input we are providing we are getting 180 degrees phase shift of output 180 degrees phase shift of output so this is called as inverting output terminal okay non inverting means here we are providing positive input the uh, negative is coming into ground so whatever input we are providing 
whatever the output we are getting that is both are having same phase so that is in non inverting output terminal okay i hope you understand and coming into the block diagram in in previous session also i already uh, explain the block diagram of, of uh, operation amplifier and internal circuit of operation amplifier okay so now coming into here in this uh, triangle in this triangle okay so up to till now we know how many number of pins are there eight pins are there within this eight pins so uh, according to the name of uh, this pin or this configuration is 741 i already told you how pins one pin is so is a uh, kept to you uh, kept for uh, which stand purpose or backup purpose so we are using only seven active pins so we called as seven okay so number two here the four input terminals we are providing so it is called as four and it is having only one output terminal that is called as one okay seven active pins or functional pins and four input pins one is output pin so it is called as 741 in this operation amplifier internally it consisting of four stages input stage intermediate stage and level shifting circuit output amplifier okay so now i try to explain in this input stage in this input stage okay here we are providing how many number of inputs here two inputs we are providing in this input stage the two inputs are used to generate two outputs so this stage of operation amplifier is called as balanced 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 stage balanced sir what is the reason sir why you are called as balanced so we are providing two inputs we are getting two outputs it is called as a balanced but in this input stage we are not getting much more of gain because the output gain is very high the output gain is the gain of the operation amplifier is very very high so we try to use only one stage so the gain is not sufficient so that's why the number of stages are connected in cascaded with the help of in this intermediate stage so one stage is not enough to maintain such much of gain in operation amplifier so that's why the number of stages are connected or cascaded ca cascaded connection in this intermediate stage so because in order to maintain sufficient gain of operation amplifier here yeah, the point is very is simple the operation amplifier gain is very very high okay in order to maintain that much of gain that much of gain okay one input stage amplifier is not enough not sufficient so that's why the intermediate stage is connected in this intermediate stages number of um, this input stages are connected in cascaded okay in order to maintain gain okay moreover here in this in, uh, in this intermediate stage it is called as unbalanced unbalanced so what is the reason why you are called as unbalanced so i tell i try to convey clearly in this input stage we are providing two input terminals we are getting two output terminals but in this intermediate stage we are providing two input terminals we are getting only one output terminal so that's why it is called as unbalanced that's why it is called as unbalanced okay and moreover here moreover here the level shifting circuit level shifting circuit means in this uh, intermediate stage so in this intermediate stage whatever the output is there that is input of level shifting circuit in this level shifting circuit level shifting circuit intention is very simple so here whatever the output of the intermediate stage for example with respect of uh, uh, time here we are getting the output voltage is here somewhere okay the level shifting circuit is used to the level shifting circuit is used to okay keep the voltage keep the voltage or bring the dc voltage to zero to zero with respect to ground to zero with respect to ground so here in this intermediate stage we are getting the output is here with respect of here it is zero in this level shifting circuit in order to bring whatever the output we are getting so the output is bring into kept into zero with the help of level shifting circuit with, res with respect of ground okay now output amplifier output amplifier input is the output of level shifting circuit the op output stage amplifier which is used to generate here the point is very simple so what in the, at the stage of input we are providing uh, high impedance high input impedance impedance means we know the relation v equal to i into z and a v equal to i into z z is equal to v by i z is equal to v by, by i so this is input stage so it is input voltage it is input current okay coming into the output stage also z not is equal to v not by i not v not by i not now here in this input stage we are providing so we are providing very low current very low 
current. But at the output side, we are getting very high current. We are getting very high current. So we are providing very low current, which means the input impedance is very, very high because the imp impedance is inversely proportional to current. And coming into the output, the output impedance is very, very low because here we are getting high current. We are getting high current. So this is a story. Okay. Am I any doubts? It related to block diagram of operation amplifier. Block diagram of operation amplifier. Anybody having any doubts? Sir, sir, level shifter. Level shifter. Okay. So here. Okay, ma. This is operation amplifier. Internal operation amplifier having four stages, ma. Okay. Input stage, intermediate stage. A level shifting circuit output amplifier. Okay, now I want to show you here. Here, how many number of inputs are required operation amplifier? Two inputs here. Here we are providing two inputs. Okay, in this input stage, it is called as a balanced. Balanced. Balanced means here we are providing two inputs. We are getting two outputs. So it is called as balanced. But in this uh, input stage, we are getting gain. We are getting gain. Okay, we are getting gain. Moreover, at the input stage, so Z is equal to V by I. V by I, okay. V by I at the input stage, okay. We are providing way, very low current, very low current input stage. We are providing very low current. So what about the input impedance of operation amplifier? Very very high. Input impedance of operation amplifier is high because we are providing very low current input current here. Very high input impedance is there. So reason behind input impedance is very high means we are providing very low input current. Okay. Now. In this input uh, input stage, uh, we are providing a balanced input. We are getting balanced output. So two inputs, two outputs. So it is called as the balanced. In this input stage, it is used to provide a gain. But in this operation amplifier, finally the gain is very very high. Gain is very very high. Only one stage is not enough to maintain that much of gain. So that's why internally more number of stages are connected in cascaded. Cascaded means series. That cascaded connection of number of stages are called as intermediate stages. Intermediate stages. Okay. In this intermediate stages, this type of number of stages are connected in series because in order to maintain high gain. In order to maintain high gain. Okay. Now, moreover, in this intermediate stage, it is having two inputs, but it is provide only one output. So that's why it is called as unbalanced. It is called as unbalanced. Okay. The in the output of input stage is the input of intermediate stage. So finally, we are getting here uh, whatever the output is called as that output is called as input of level shifter. Okay, this input intermediate stage it is consisting of number of input stages are connected in cascaded. So because the reason is input stage is not enough to maintain that much of gain of operation amplifier because the operation amplifier gain is very very high. Okay, so that's why in order to maintain that much of gain, so with the help of intermediate stage, intermediate stage. But in this intermediate stage, it receives two inputs, but it, it generate one output. This output is is this output is greater than the zero with respect to ground here. It is having in order to maintain zero here, in order to maintain zero here. But this output is above the ground or below the uh, sorry above the zero or below the zero with respect to ground. With respect to ground, at that time this level shifter. So this level shifter. Okay, in this level shifter is used to keep this level shifter is used to sh shift whatever the output of intermediate stage with respect of ground that is not zero. In order to bring the level of DC voltage coming into zero with respect to ground, coming into zero with respect of ground with the help of level shifting stage. In this level shifting stage, here we are using push pull converter. Push pull converter. I hope you know in your power electronics, one of the type of converter is there DC to DC converter. The DC to DC converter is called as push pull type converter. Okay, in this push pull type converter, it is used to bring so uh, more than the zero or less than the zero with respect to ground keeps to zero with the help of level shifting stage. Okay. In that level shifting stage, in order to bring that value, and that value is directly given to amplifier output stage. The output amplifier stage is used to 
generate generate high output current high output current so here we are providing low input current but finally we are getting high output current in that high output current in that high output current so the gain is output impedance is equal to we know the basic relation v by i we are providing very high current so what about the output impedance very very low so in the operational amplifier input impedance is high because we are providing low input current the operational amplifier gain is very high and the operational amplifier output impedance is very low because we are getting high output current okay amma mohan adha enda ipudu cheppindi ah okay sir adha main sir right vachindi ga ah yes sir right amma okay okay here the next topic is differential amplifier differential amplifier so try to understand here one more time i try to represent clearly here okay it is a negative it is a positive okay in this operation amplifier we are getting output here in this operation amplifier it is having dual input here i want to provide here okay now we are getting only single output okay now one input is v1 i called as v1 another input is called as v2 Okay, try to understand it is a dual input and it is having only one output okay in this uh, v1 and v2 we are providing here okay so here in this v1 and v2 this operation amplifier here in this operation amplifier okay amplifier so amplifier so the operation amplifier amplifies the input signal amplifies the input signal to generate high output signal so whatever the input signal we are providing difference differential the name itself a differential so differential means there are two inputs are there v1 and v2 here we are providing the difference between v1 and v2 it is taken as a input so that's why it is called as differential amplifier Dif differential amplifier means whatever the input we are providing that input is amplified by the operation amplifier to generate the output in this differential amplifier the name itself difference how many number of inputs are there two inputs are there one is v1 input another one is v2 input what type of input we are providing the difference between two inputs we are providing that is the differential input differential input so vd is nothing but vd is nothing but difference between two inputs v1 minus v2 here we are providing difference between these two inputs to get only one output so output voltage is proportional to differential input differential input means the name itself differential differential means i already told you operation amplifier having how many number of inputs two inputs the name itself differential so what is the difference between inputs that means the first input minus second input or second input minus first input so the difference between two inputs so that is that is the input of differential amplifier that differential input is given to the amplifier so that amplifier amplifies the differential input to generate the output that is the function of differential amplifier okay that is the function of differential amplifier okay and coming into here coming into here i try to represent clearly okay it is called as ideal differential amplifier okay in this differential amplifier having how many number of inputs amma i told you the differential amplifier having it is just dual supply two inputs now i try to provide v1 here and i try to provide v2 here so i already told you there are two inputs are there one is called as negative another one is called as a positive okay positive is called as non inverting input terminal non inverting input terminal negative is called as inverting input terminal okay the operation amplifier having two inputs are there v1 v2 so now we are getting only one output terminal okay now in this v1 and v2 okay whatever the in input we are providing to differential amplifier the name itself the difference between these two inputs so i want to mention vd is equal to the difference between two inputs so v1 minus v2 so here it is an access amplifier by taking a differential input okay the differential amplifier amplifies the differential input differential input means we are providing two inputs 
the difference between two inputs is the input of differential amplifier now the differential amplifier amplifies the differential amp input to generate the output to generate the output so the output voltage is purely proportional to output voltage is purely proportional to input what about the input we are providing difference between two inputs so difference between two inputs is called as vd okay now v not is proportional to vd vd is nothing but difference between two inputs okay now this proportionality can be cancelled by taking some gain that is called as a sub xd d is called as differential gain a sub xd differential gain so v not is equal to a sub xd into v1 minus v2 v1 minus v2 is called as vd so v not is equal to a sub xd into v sub xd okay in this ideal differential amplifier it is having two inputs are there but it generate only one output it is a it consisting of a dual supply and it generate only single output okay the differential amplifier the name itself here it clearly mention it amplifies difference between two input signals it amplifies difference between two input signals so difference means we know in any arithmetical operation either we are using plus or minus whatever it is the differential means we are using minus okay here we are providing the differential input so v1 minus v2 so the differential input we are providing to the amplifier the amplifier amplifies the differential input input uh, differential input that means the difference between two inputs to generate output so this output is proportional to differential input so this proportionality can be cancelled by taking some constant that is called as gain a sub x d gain a sub x d okay now so here so we know i hope you know in your control systems at the time of your bode plot at the time of your bode plot some magnitude is there in magnitude whatever the units are there the magnitude units is in uh, the magnitude units is in uh, no more units and there is no units for magnitude okay here also there is no units for gain there is no units for gain because gain means nothing but out if you need voltage gain so a sub x v is equal to output voltage by input voltage v not by v in if we need current gain so a sub x i is equal to a sub x i is equal to output current by input current so here we are getting now both the uh, values are voltage voltage those two are cancelled car ampere ampere those are cancelled so what about the units of gain null there is no units for gain okay so coming into here in order to bring there is no units into decibels with the help of 20 log of that value 20 log here we are we try to put 20 log so the units are in decibels if the value is 10 and okay the, the, what about the units of gain nothing so in order to bring in decibels so 20 log of 10 20 log into whatever the value you are bring so we are getting the answer in terms of decibels in terms of decibels the, the point is very clear so the, there is no units for gain because output voltage by output current in terms of voltage gain output current by input current in terms of current gain so in that scenario both the voltage both the amperes both are cancel so there is no units of gain but in order to maintain the units at that time 20 log of that value so that value is converted into decibels the value is converted into decibels okay that's the one point and coming in here there are uh, two modes are there two modes are there so listen carefully so these two modes are very very important now so here i try to mention clearly so try to understand amma in this operational amplifier we are providing two inputs it is v1 input it is v2 input v2 input what about the output we are getting here only one output that is v0 okay now now i want to mention clearly what about the input we are providing that is called as vd vd is nothing but difference between two inputs v1 and v2 now i want to mention clearly to you vd is equal to v1 minus v2 okay now my point is the first mode is called as common mode gain common mode so in previous sir you already mentioned gain sir so that is called as differential gain ad now i need common mode gain ac so how to uh, find common mode gain what is the need of common mode gain listen carefully now i want to mention if if the input voltage v1 and v2 both are equal the input voltage v1 and v2 both are equal the input voltage v1 and v2 both are equal what about the output voltage anybody guess if i i try to provide if i try to provide two inputs v1 and v2 okay my point is 
ఈ వి వన్ అండ్ వి టూ బోత్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ ఇన్ దిస్ సినారియో వి వన్ వి టూ బోత్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ సో వాట్ అబౌట్ ద అవుట్పుట్ వీఆర్ గెటింగ్ వి నో వి నాట్ ఈస్ ప్రపోర్షనల్ టు వి నాట్ ఈస్ ప్రపోర్షనల్ టు విడి విడి ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ వి వన్ మైనస్ వి టూ సో వి వన్ వి టూ బోత్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ సో వి నాట్ వాల్యూస్ హౌ మచ్ వి నాట్ వాల్యూస్ హౌ మచ్ జీరో జీరో కానీ బట్ ఇన్ ప్రాక్టికల్ సినారియో బట్ ఇన్ ప్రాక్టికల్ సినారియో ద అవుట్పుట్ వోల్టేజ్ నాట్ ఈస్ నాట్ కమింగ్ ఇన్ జీరో బట్ ఇన్ ప్రాక్టికల్ సినారియో ద అవుట్పుట్ వోల్టేజ్ నాట్ కమింగ్ ఇన్ జీరో సార్ హౌ ఈస్ ఇట్ పాసిబుల్ సార్ సింపుల్ సార్ యూ టోల్ మీ క్లియర్లీ దర్ ఆర్ టూ ఇన్పుట్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ సో హియర్ వీఆర్ ప్రొవైడింగ్ ద డిఫరెన్స్ ఇన్పుట్ దట్ మీన్స్ వి వన్ మైనస్ వి టూ టు ద యాంప్లిఫైర్ ద యాంప్లిఫైర్ యాంప్లిఫైస్ దిస్ టూ డిఫరెన్స్ ఇన్పుట్స్ టు గెట్ ద అవుట్పుట్ సార్ యూ యూ సెడ్ v1 v2 both are equal sir so we are సార్ సో వీ ఆర్ ప్రొవైడింగ్ ఇన్పుట్ డిఫరెన్స్ ఇస్ జీరో సార్ వీ ఆర్ గెటింగ్ అవుట్పుట్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో బి జీరో బట్ ద పాయింట్ ఈస్ వెరీ సింపుల్ వెరీ సింపుల్ ఓకే ఇన్ దట్ అవుట్పుట్ ఇన్ దట్ అవుట్పుట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ డిపెండింగ్ అపాన్ డిఫరెన్షియల్ గెయిన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ డిపెండింగ్ అపాన్ డిఫరెన్షియల్ గెయిన్ ఓకే ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ డిపెండింగ్ అపాన్ డిఫరెన్షియల్ గెయిన్ ఇట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో డిపెండింగ్ అపాన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో డిపెండింగ్ అపాన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో డిపెండింగ్ అపాన్ AC common mode gain. Okay. So it is not only depending upon AD. Okay. Because if VD value is zero, what about V not value? Zero. If V1 equal to V2, but in practical scenario, but in practical scenario, okay. So the output voltage is not only depending upon differential voltage. Okay. The output voltage is not only depending upon differential voltage. It is also depending upon. Okay. here i want to mention clearly v not is proportional to vd we know that okay the output voltage is not only proportional to differential voltage because if differential voltage is zero okay the output voltage is also be zero but the differential amplifier in practical scenario not only depending upon differential voltage but is also depending upon here it consisting of differential amplifier we are providing two inputs v1 v2 we are providing v1 v2 we are getting v0 so if the two inputs are not equal so it depending upon differential input if two inputs are equal at that time it is not depending upon differential input it is also depending upon average average common level of two inputs average common level of two inputs it means v1 plus v2 by 2 v2 by 2 in this scenario what is the reason vd value becomes zero v1 v2 both are equal so at that time both are equal what we are getting here 2 v1 by 2 2 v1 by 2 so 2 2 cancel we are getting either v1 or v2 so definitely we are providing any one of the input either v1 is active or v2 is active it means here the output is not only depending upon differential input it is also depending upon average common level two inputs common level inputs it means two inputs are there so what about the average v1 plus v2 by 2 so the output voltage not only depends upon differential voltage it is also depending upon the common average output uh, common average input voltage so that voltage is called as vc so vc is proportional vc is equal to sorry vc is equal to v1 plus v2 by 2 so v1 plus v2 by 2 okay now here so the output voltage is proportional to vc in this scenario if v1 equal to v2 only if v1 is not equal to v2 at that time output voltage is proportional to differential voltage output voltage is proportional to differential voltage v0 is proportional to vd if v1 is not equal to v2 if v1 is not equal to v2 okay if v1 and v2 both are equal at that time output voltage is proportional to vc this proportionally can be cancelized by taking a sub x a sub x that is called as common mode gain common mode gain so v not is equal to ac into vc try to understand amma so it it, it is not a, uh, it is not a complicated it is very simple okay in first scenario we are consisting of two inputs okay in these two inputs uh, okay the two inputs are not equal at that time what about the uh, input of the differential amplifier the difference between two two inputs so output is proportional to vd vd is nothing but v1 minus v2 so that proportion will be cancelled by taking constant that is differential gain differential gain that is ad so that is the first point coming to the second one common mode gain in this scenario 
if v1 and v2 if v1 and v2 both are equal if v1 and v2 both are equal so at that time what about the differential uh, input zero v1 v2 both are equal we are providing vd is also be zero what about the output voltage v not v not is also be zero but in practical scenario the output voltage is not only depending upon differential voltage not only depending upon this differential voltage add on that it is also be depending upon some common average input voltage vc vc is nothing but v1 plus v2 by 2 so output voltage v not is proportional to vc v not is proportional to vc so this proportional we can cancel is but in constant that is ac gain so finally the operational amplifier output it depending upon two things differential voltage and average common mode voltage average common mode voltage okay so this is the scenario am i any doubts do you understand no sir ma respond amma you only we are having only two members okay so i want to explain to you okay clearly if you are having any doubts feel free to ask me okay do you understand yes sir no amma. doubt sir okay right amma what about um, mohan mohan are you there yes sir no doubt sir okay amma okay this is the scenario and the final point and the final point here one more point that is common mode rejection ratio so common mode rejection ratio intention is very simple i already told you there are two types of gains are there amma one is differential gain another one is common mode gain okay so in this uh, cmrr common mode rejection ratio in this common mode rejection ratio in order to reject in order to uh, reject common mode signal is expressed by ratio is called as cmrr so the main objective of cmrr is in order to in order to okay avoid in order to eliminate or terminate common mode gain ac value in order to avoid reject common mode gain okay so that is the purpose of common mode rejection ratio so common mode rejection ratio is equal to ad by ac ad is nothing but differential gain ac is nothing but common mode gain so ideal case is it possible practical case it is also be possible okay so cmrr is nothing but the ratio of differential gain to common mode gain so the main ultimate aim is in order to in order to eliminate or avoid or reject common mode gain common mode gain it is defined as the ratio of differential voltage gain to common mode voltage gain okay it does not having any units so in order to bring in decibels 20 log of that value so this is a scenario so in your exam point of view explain differential amplifier at that time you try to explain this differential amplifier diagram and differential gain and common mode gain and common mode rejection ratio this is the scenario okay amma if you are having any doubts and one more important point amma it is having some relation is also be there v not is equal to ad vd plus ac vc now ad vd is common now 1 plus ac vc by ad vd a sub xd amma v sub xd amma okay a sub xc v sub xc so in this output v not is equal to so in this ad vd is common now we are getting now we know okay common mode ratio common mode ratio is nothing but ad by ac so now ac is coming into this denominator here because something by denominator is coming in numerator okay now ad by ac is nothing but what about the value cmrr so v not is equal to ad vd into 1 plus 1 by cmrr vc vd okay now in this ideal value of cmmr is infinity infinity okay the value of cmmr is infinity okay because it is becomes to infinity at that time only output voltage comes to zero in ideal scenario v not is zero at that time cmmr becomes to inversely infinity so this is the conclusion okay moreover the few points are there in this operational amplifier or differential amplifier it is having how many number of inputs two input terminals how many number of outputs only one output terminal here i want to represent here in this operational amplifier it is acts as a differential amplifier at that time how many number of inputs are there two inputs two inputs how many number of outputs are there 
only one output okay i already told you at the input time we are providing low current low current so the impedance is very very high input impedance is very very high and finally we are del delivering high output current at that time output impedance is very very low and here it is providing high uh, gain high gain and large bandwidth and here so low common mode gain okay high cmr so these are the features of differential amplifier am i anybody having any doubts in this session in this session anybody having any doubts no sir okay okay am okay so this also having one problem is also with there amma just wait a 2 minutes i want i try to finish this topic because in next session i try to uh, start with a new new class okay wait a second so in this uh, problem here uh, the input voltage is 300 micro volts and 240 micro volts so v1 v2 is there so what about the input we are providing difference so v1 minus v2 here it is differential voltage okay what about the vc the average of v1 and v2 here we try to calculate vc so here gain is there so gain is there and cmm cmrr value is there so here we try to calculate output of the differential amplifier v0 is equal to ad vd okay plus here what about the ad value differential gain value how much 5000 5000 okay and what about the vd value so vd means here difference between these two okay micro volts and 1 plus 1 by cmrr cmrr value how much 100 cmrr value is 100 and vc by vd so vc value how much here 270 vd value how much 60 so we are finally we are getting this millivolts simple this problem carry 7 to 8 marks amma so if you try to know differential uh, amplifier equation we try to calculate this problem also okay so right this is a uh, scenario for in this session okay if you are having any doubts feel free to ask me okay in this session i try to explain i already explain uh, introduction part and uh, operational amplifier uh, block diagram pin diagram and internal circuit of operational amplifier and moreover differential amplifier so as per your syllabus copy is the topic is clearly there so it is having seven marks or eight marks question okay differential amplifier okay this is the story so it is having few features are there and it is having only one problem is there am up to till anybody having any doubts no sir okay amma abha what about mohan no sir no sir okay amma okay thank you amma we will meet on tomorrow session at 1:30 pm thank you thank you sir